reported the House Select Committee on Homeland Security today held a hearing on the many problems facing us with border security. My next guest testified before the committee today. T.J. Bonner says our borders are no more secure now than they were before September 11th. T.J. Bonner is the president of the National Border Patrol Council and joins us tonight from Washington. Good to have you with us. Good to be here. Uh, the uh, Your statements, other testimony before the Homeland Security Committee today, frankly, were chilling and uh, should be, in my judgment at least, deeply concerning to every American. How in the world, two and a half years, more than two and a half years after September 11th, have we gotten into this situation at our borders? I'm not sure who to point fingers at, but we certainly are in a mess. Morale is at an all-time low, and agents are just waiting for other agencies, state and local, to get some money so they start hiring again. And when that happens, there will be a mass exodus of Border Patrol agents. I, a mass exodus uh, at the same time, uh, as Lisa Sylvester reported tonight, Border Patrol agents are basically forced to step aside under current policy uh, and are not even apprehending uh, uh, illegal aliens as they cross the border. Is that correct? It's correct, and it's just amazing. And it's a, a major source of frustration and demoralization. Agents are forced to sit 8 to 10 hours a day in one spot and ordered not to move from that spot, even if aliens are crossing within yards of them. It's really mind-boggling, Lou. Who made that decision? Who issued that order? This comes straight from the top, and nobody has signed an order to that effect, but those are the standing orders out there in the field, and if agents violate them, they're subject to discipline. And what, uh, you, you said morale is low, uh, what in the world are border communities, how, how are they responding to these orders and to, uh, to basically a, a, a sweep of the hand by the Border Patrol uh, inviting illegal aliens in? It's not just the border communities, Lou. It's every part of America because illegal aliens don't camp out right at the border after they make an entry. They're heading to the heartland of America to take jobs away from American citizens. And we have, at this point, uh, simply a, a procedure whereby Border Patrol agents are not effectively, uh, in any way, guarding our borders illegal aliens once apprehended or said uh, or given an issue or issued an order to appear before a hearing but in point of fact no one is following up to make certain that occurs and in fact it doesn't is that right probably ninety to ninety five percent of the people who are issued an order to show cause to appear of scon they never show up and we don't even require a bona fide address we have no way to verify it in the first place but we don't even require it and the reaction of the committee, uh, is, there, is there a donning taking place anywhere in Washington? I haven't seen it yet, Lou. Uh, I don't know what to say. Do I don't know what it's going to take to wake these people up, to wake up not just the Congress, but to wake up America as to what's going on. Because this is not just an issue of economics of people coming across to take jobs, mixed in with that could well be a number of terrorists. So it's clearly a matter of homeland security. T.J. Bonner, we thank you for being with us here tonight. Thank you. Very sobering. A reminder to vote in our poll tonight. How concerned are you about border and port security? Very, somewhat, or not at all. Cast your vote at CNN.com slash Lou. We'll have results for you later in this broadcast. Still ahead here, President Bush says a